Hello, boss. Season 1, Episode 8, Queen Bee, is the part 2 of the season finale of Hell of a Boss. And this time around, Millie gets invited to a party held by Tex and his girlfriend, who is basically a Queen Bee of this entire establishment. And she feels left out. Um, she's trying to form some sort of relationship with Tex, but when things don't go well and she feels alone she calls in her father or adopted father blitz to come in take her home but someone who knows blitz invites him to the party this is where things change up and it's where blitz starts to feel a little bit more himself but not really he's drinking so much he's trying to drown his sorrows after what happened earlier when all his past mistakes start coming toward him like a sledgehammer, you know, like part one with Verasica and uh, what's Fizzarali and everyone else in that in that uh, club with Millie and Moxie and the Owl Prince. I, I'm terrible with names, I know. They all, it just all just took a toll on him emotionally and so he's trying to drown his sorrows and Luna recognizing that along with all the other people in this party she brings him home tries to help comfort him let him know that she'll always be there for him even when he dies she's gonna be there and acknowledges him as her dad uh, what I loved about this episode was how focused it was on the character of Luna. We never really got a full on Luna episode based on this character. We usually get episodes based around uh, Blitz or Moxie or Moxie and Millie's relationship or maybe a little bit of Luna in the mix with Blitz but never a full on episode focused on Luna. And I felt like because of that she feels like to me, my least favorite character of this show because we never really got as much of a focus on her. Whereas here, if we, it feels like we are getting to know Luna more and know her as like a full on, not human being, but a full on, I'm just gonna say character because I can't think of any other proper terms for her right now, but she feels like a fully fleshed out character with a completed arc from which she doesn't acknowledge her father as her own father. She basically hates him. But as we go throughout this entire episode and we actually start to see her show a lot of support for her father, Blitz, it made the relationship in future episodes feel a lot more sweet knowing how, where all this came from sometimes getting the little details like right there is just makes the entire progression of a show or a movie all the more important and heartfelt sometimes and I feel like this episode makes some future episodes where they focused on Luna especially I believe episode 2 I believe a lot more impactful as there are a few segments in that where I feel like it needed this episode in order to gauge with its full importance in terms of storytelling that whole episode felt like it was brought up a lot more now in terms of how much I enjoyed it now with this episode here focusing on the relationship between Blitz and Luna I also love the animation as always. It is really well animated, professionally done. Like I am happy that A24 brought the VZ Pop over to their company to make Hasbro Hotel because this episode is one of many episodes that show that Vivian Medrano is an absolute incredible artist. And her musical segments in this with Keisha, who is surprisingly great in this episode. I'm surprised as a voice 
actress, she does a really good job here. But her musical performance in the beginning of this episode is just something that is just classic Vivzy pop magic right there. It's also funny how it now comes full circle with Vivzy pop uh, doing a Keisha uh, music video animation parody. Now to, not really a parody, it's like a tribute to one of Keisha's songs, Die Young, to now Keisha actually singing for Vivzy Pop now. It's like a full on full circle thing right there and it's just really awesome to see. Overall the animation is great. I find the storytelling really engaging and the character progression between Blitz and Luna really great here. I'm happy that we got a Luna focused episode and it's done incredibly well. The voice acting and performances all around were fantastic as always. The humor is great, especially that last gag at the emotional climax. Just is pure hell of a boss charm. And this is just a fantastic episode. I'm really happy we got it. I wish we could have gotten it sooner. Um, also, seeing a bit of text here and seeing how that conflicts with another relationship and how his character is now seen. I really like. Overall, I cannot really find anything much wrong with it. It just did everything I wanted this to do. It concluded season one perfectly, especially developing the characters and completing the arcs that we have yet to see fulfilled yet for season one. It did it perfectly here and just capped that first season off with a bang. I would say that season one of Hell of a Boss is great. It's a great first season with great character arcs, some a little bit less focused than others, I will say, especially with Luna, but at the end, I felt like every character got their time to shine, all the villains were entertaining, the animation and music segments are all great. Overall, Hell of a Boss Season 1 is absolutely fantastic, and yeah, I'll get to that part of Hell of a Boss in my second channel. I reviewed the entire first season right there. So go check that out if you can. I'll probably have that uploaded by sometime this week maybe. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. So yeah. Episode 8, Part 2, fantastic. Go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time.